entirely sit out the remaining games of San Beda in the regular season. Well, it will be very interesting, Bill, to find out what the uh, the strategies are in store for us here by the two coaches. Uh, well, a big surprise, as you mentioned, is Raymond Magai starting out because the last time out when they played the Altas without Al Jamal, coach Frankie opted to start with uh, Darvo Lanete. Yes. So now different looks for different foes and stepping on the sideline Oji Minor has uh, streamlined uh, his hairstyle once again Kirk De Los Santos starting at the point and you know the first time these two teams met hindi nakapagseta ng maayos yung nagwatsa na San Beda Kaundo trying to stop Minor blocks him there is a foul however Let's see if it happened first downstairs. Del Rosario with uh, the foul. Two free throws for Ochi Menor. a pretty good uh, free throw shooter at the strike. Well, Letran, of course, is the number one defensive team this season. They are only allowing 67.9 points to their opponents. So you're, you're very right, Bill, when you said that uh, Letran did a good job in uh, disrupting the offense of uh, San Beda in their uh, first round matchup and especially making it very difficult for their point guards to set up the play. It's Frankie at the start of this uh, very important game. Of course, the top officials of the NCAA making a show of unity at center court before the game started. Always a nice thing to see them setting an example for the players and students. Two to nothing for the Red Lions. Azul, one of the heroes of the season, plus the court, Cabonse scores it. You see, that is the main problem now for San Beda is when the Tran attacks, they keep Sam Eckwood guessing. That is right, and they have to make an adjustment on that uh, defensive lapse because we saw a lot of that bill in their first meeting where they Tran scored heavily on those uh, drive and dishes. No? Yes. Nico can die off the turnover again. Defense sparking the offense for the Knights. Ekwe asking for the ball. He's got a pretty good perimeter shot now. There you go. Pero hindi yung hindi yung banda. Hindi ka pinahiya that time. Buti naman. Well, he's been practicing that bill. And I, I guess uh, he recognized that some teams are starting to to uh, defend him single-handedly. Yes. Natatakot na dumobol because of the shooters of uh, San Beda. So, he really has to develop that one-on-one uh, -on -one move. Rebound by Escobar on the miss by Paundo. Because the Tran is a team that loves to shoot from the outside. Menor, great, great first step. Too high off the glass. One thing he does very well is follow his own shot. There will be contact on that play, but first, let's check in for Pia Boring's preliminary report on San Beda. Pia? Yes, Bill. Now, in facing the only team to smudge their otherwise spotless record, the San Beda Red Lions, together with Coach Frankie Lim, say it's payback time. Now, they're confident that they have prepared well enough and have made the necessary adjustments, and the Red Lions are determined not to let the first round history repeat itself and are looking to face this challenge with intensity and aggression. Now, some pointers on today's match are on defense. Coach instructed them to not only pressure the opponent's ball carrier, but pester him into making mistakes. And as always, rebounding will be key for offense. The Red Lions need to be quick. More passes and less dribbling are today's order together with strong attacks to the basket. Bill, back to you. All right, that was our Samsung court side up. They did Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. That slow mo, by the way, was brought to you by Smart. The power to lead. Three quick fouls on Kirk Del Rosario. And Borgi Hermita with the bonus. Seven to four is our score. That was an excellent inbounds play by San Beda that time. Finding Borgi Hermida, the litmus man on the floor for the Red Lions, but he was able to score underneath the basket. Kojak Melikuto comes into the game for Del Rosario. Kojak, of course, bigger and a more potent offensive player. Foul after the shot by Hermida. He'll probably get three free throws. All number 16, Borgi Hermida is first one on San Beda. Three free throws for Kojak. Godzilla, Well, they're starting to respect the outside shooting of uh, the Knights. But some uh, stats here, Bill. Uh, I did my homework for of this uh, for this big game. I would expect no less. <laughs> 
In terms of uh, field goal shooting from beyond the arc, Bill, San Beda is number one with uh, a 31% percent percentage. That's pretty good. That's 60 out of 191 attempts so far this season. While Letran is at number two with 30%, so not far behind. Yes. That's 50 out of 167 attempts from so, beyond the arc. We're going to see things open up. That's right. So Just a little while. This could be a, a shootout here at the Araneta Coliseum. So, one out of three from the free throw line for Menecrito. Seven to five is our count. Not too many fireworks yet. Ekwe, turnaround hook shot. It's a new facet to his game. Raymond Magai, one of the variables. Coming off the bench for San Beda, forced to start today. He will be matched up against Brian Paolo, who is much improved this season. Speaking of much improved, here's RJ Hazul. He loves that shot. But they don't have any bad in the goal here in Araneta. Menor tried to get it to Hermida. No look pass. Magai swatted by Kindai. That was a good de defensive job on Kintai, not giving up on the play when everybody thought that Raymond Magay was wide open for the uh, layup. Kabonse over to Melegrito. Plenty of time on the clock. Faldo drawing out Magay. This is a, going to be big for Letran to see if they can keep Santella off the boards. Franklin upset that the Red Lions allowed a second attempt. Hazul against Kindai, uh, going to Kindai. Scar is out of the paint. They'll reset. Two offensive rebounds spill for Letran in, in this possession alone. And remember, in their first meeting, Letran had so many offensive rebounds in the final uh, seconds of that game. Ekwe went out to the free throw line and got sidestepped. And traveling is called now on Menor. He's been off his game this first quarter. Meanwhile, at the other side of the floor, Aika Yave has the word on a letra. Aika? Yes, we can feel the intensity here at the victim as these decades old rival meet once again. Letran might have caused the first upset for Sinbeda in the season so far, but that does not give them any reason to relax today. The absence of Aljamal in this ball game does not even raise the fact that they are still a strong team. There is more pressure for Letran in this game because at stake is the other choice to beat advantage and of course the pride of the school. But they should have let the pressure get into their heads. By now, Coach Louis is aware that Sunbeda is familiar with how the Letran plays. This timeout is brought to you by Samson with Sam. Per game in eight rebounds per game. Meanwhile, Letran has been lording it over uh, in terms of rebounding, especially off the offensive glass. And they have tied the game at nine. But on the other end, Letran is being forced to give up a lot of fouls. Well, what I uh, see as a big difference in the game of the offense of the Red Lions right now, Bill, is that there, there's more movement. There, there are more cuts to the basket, which is making it difficult for the defense of uh, Letran, which is the reason why right now they, they, uh, they already have 14 fouls. And they are in the penalty. Escobar takes his first shot. It is short. J.R. Taganas, by the way, in the game for the four, uh, first time. He normally doesn't see much action, but with the absence of Yusuf Al-Jamal, they've moved up one notch at the power forward slot. That is right. And I think it's because uh, Coach Franke wants his team to run. And J.R. Taganas somehow will slow down a bit the Red Lions. But J.R. gives a lot uh, other than uh, just scoring he, he gives he gives uh, he defends very well he, he boxes out very well so he's a very important player in the rotation of San Beda, especially with the absence of Aljamal and he gets his first two points in the game and you have to remember J.R. Tamanas was the starting center of this team two years ago that is right wala bang ekwenon and of course he was a former NCAA juniors MVP oh yeah that's not the game Looking to Cabonse, left open. How come Ekwe keeps getting pulled out of the paint? Well, the problem is uh, Ekwe is doing the right thing in helping out the okay. defense. But the problem is there's nobody rotating to his position. Cover. 